The RX 6600 is possibly one of the best value cards since it was launched. Now, if you bought this card, you would have had a great buy. And at one point, it even dropped to less than $200. So in 2025, is it time for you to upgrade this card? Because chances are, if you have the RX 6600, you probably have a budget system and you probably have a lower wattage power supply, maybe 600 watts or even 500 watts power supply. So your practical upgrade path, if you just want to slot something in, is the RX 9060 XT 16 gigabyte. Oh yeah, bro. 16 gigabyte of VRAM, that's what we need. Future proofing, baby, future proofing, bro. Well, yeah, sort of. However, the best part for this one is that we don't actually need to swap our power supply. This one is just a drop in upgrade and we'll be sweet. We'll run both of these cards into multiple games. And to keep it realistic, we'll use our Ryzen 7600, not our 9800 X3D, because yeah, that's good for theory, but We'll live in the real world, bro. So we're going to show you real world results. And first up is Cyberpunk 2077. And boom, look at that one, boys. 98% beta. That's almost double the FPS with our RX 9060 XT and almost double on the lows as well. Let's go 1440p with upscaler. So FSR 4 on RX 9060 XT and FSR 3 on the 6600. Yes, it's unfair comparison. But for the sake of this benchmark, we're just going to do that and look at that one, right? 87% bitter and look at the frame times on the RX 6600 non-XT. Look how bad that is compared to our RX 9060 XT. This is non-negotiable. Good upgrade with our RX 9060 XT, 16 gigabyte. Let's go to our next game, Oblivion Remastered. And here we go, Oblivion Remastered boys at 1080p. Now we do have upscalers in here and look at that one. We're both GPU bound and boom 110% better average FPS for the RX 9060 XT. Yes, this game is a stuttery miss, but it's better with the RX 9060 XT. Let's go 1440p and at 1440p, bang. The RX 9060 XT is much better compared to our RX 6600. And look at the VRAM, right? So in VRAM for our RX 6600, it's like eight gigabytes. We're maxing out here. So the RX 9060 XT is actually the better choice here. Pretty obvious upgrade back. This is not even contest, boys. Let's move on to our competitive shooters wherein we need high frame rates. And first up, Warzone. And here we go, Warzone at 1080p basic, which is our competitive settings. And oh man, that's 8%. And the lows are what, 6%. Let's go with our firing benchmark. Slightly better, right? But still pretty bad on the lows, right? It's only about 7% better on the lows. Yeah, bro, why is it so low? Like we had really good gains with our Oblivion and Cyberpunk. How did it become like this? That's simple, bro. And that's because we are not GPU bottleneck in here. When we go to 1440p with upscalers, here's where we're going to see the difference. On our running benchmark, look at that one, right? 56% better with our RX 9060 XT and 44% better on the lows. When we go to our firing benchmark, 1440p here, 59% better. Follows the trend, right? Let's go with Delta Force. Okay, here we go. Delta Force and it's the same thing. Almost double in terms of average F. FPS and this one, right? 90% better compared to the RX 6600. And on our firing benchmark, that's what? 108% better, man. No contest. One more thing that I forget to talk about is actually the power consumption here. Yes, we do get really large gains with our RX 9060 XT. However, we are comparing about 170 watts against 100 watts for the RX 6600. Let's go 1440p. It's the same thing, boys. 90% better and we're GPU bound in here for both of our cards. On our firing benchmark, same thing, right? 106% better compared to our RX 6600. What you will see is that this is more like the common trend in here when we go to our next game this is pubg now the 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 gains are slightly lower compared to our the other games but it's still like huge right 60 percent better on the average fps 57 percent better on the lows on the firing benchmark it drops to about 49 percent better on average fps 42 percent better in the lows it's still better yes you are getting really high fps on both of these cards here however in this game actually favors you get an advantage in this game if you go to a higher resolution like in this case this is 1440p and the lead actually 
stretches out with our RX 9060XT as we go to more GPU bound scenarios. This is 73% now. And on the firing benchmark, 56% better. Still, like there's that lead with our RX 9060XT. This is pretty clear here. We're gaining a lot with our RX 9060XT coming from the RX 6600. Let's see how this one turns out with our hero shooters. This is Apex Legends 1080p competitive settings and bang. 60% better on the average FPS with our RX 9660 on our heavy action scene. And on our static scene, it's the same thing, right? We're still getting that huge lead for our RX 9660 XT compared to the RX 6600. Let's go 1440p. The lead even stretches out like 981%, right? That's still a huge lead. And that's the same thing when we go to our static benchmark. We are GPU bottleneck in here, but that ex perfectly explains why we're getting this lead with our RX 9060 XT. And boys, before we proceed, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Okay, let's move on to the next game. Marvel Rivals at 1080p. Same thing, 92% better compared to our RX 6600. Let's go 1440p with upscalers. So FSR 4 on the RX 9060 XT and FSR 3 on the RX 6600, obviously. Quality settings and that's what? 78% better compared to the RX 6600. That's a no-brainer. You are gaining a lot for this upgrade. Let's move on to our PVE games. Here we have Helldivers 2 and we're getting, what, 60% lead on the RX 9060 XT. It's the same thing when we go to our strategy benchmark. 68% average, better average FPS with our RX 9060 XT. Let's go to 1440p. Here we go, 1440p, bang. Still the same, right? 68% better. Look at the FPS there. We got like 95 on the RX 9060 and only less than 60 on the RX 6600. You have better um, better performance, obviously, with the RX 9060 and you can stretch that out to 1440p if you want to. Let's go to the next one. Path of Exile 2. Now, this game recently had a big patch and it actually changed the performance of our AMD cards in here. With 1080p, now we did have, we do have FSR in here, but we're not using it to upscale. It's just for you know anti-aliasing. And the RX 9060 XT is about like more than double compared to the RX 6600. We got 143 FPS against 66. That's like night and day, bro. Let's go 1440p. It's the same, man. It's the same. 116% better compared to the RX 6600. That's 103 FPS against 47 FPS. Overall, the RX 9060 XT is a pretty good upgrade if you're coming from the RX 6600. If you look at the numbers, bro, I don't even have to look at the numbers, bro. I already see your previous benchmark. This will be a bloodbath. Yeah, it's an instant buy. However, let's just look at the numbers here. So at 1080p, on terms of average FPS, you're getting about 72% on average against all our games. And on the 1% lows, you are getting 62% better performance with the RX 9060 XT and about 61% better performance on the 0.1% lows with our RX 9060 XT. When we go to 1440p, we get about like 81% better average FPS when you upgrade to the RX 9060 XT. This is huge. Like that's better than the 1080p as we go into more GPU all next scenarios and our one percent loss is about 72 percent better still bigger compared to our 1080p scenario and then on our point one percent loss that's 103 percent better that's a huge improvement and the highest gains in this um in this run is Battle of Exile 2 right so AMD definitely has changed the the performance of their cards in this game now let's address the elephant on the road the RX 6600 is currently 219 dollars while the RX 9060 XT, the cheapest I could find right now, is about $369. That's a huge difference. That's what, $150 difference? You'd have to pay 68% more to gain 80% more 1440p. That may not sound like a good deal, but here's the good deal. If you look at the 8 gigabyte RX 9060 XT, I'm only saying this if you're at 1080p gamer or a lot of people will be saying that don't buy this because it doesn't have 16 gigabyte of vram yes 
that is justifiable. However, if you just want a game at 1080p and most of the games that we play in here doesn't really max out our VRAM, maybe apart from Oblivion Remastered. So if you play those other games and you get the RX 9060 XT8GB, which is currently at $269, that's about a $30 drop compared to its MSRP price. I think that's a good deal. If you're willing to accept that 8 gigabyte vram limitation All right so you can sell that rx6600 and buy this one instead yes it doesn't have 16 gigabyte vram but the gains bro the gains is where you're looking at but what do you think 